Hi there, it's a quick tour on how to remove a door card and potentially a speaker upgrade if you're interested on minis from 2001 to 2006. Um, it is really simple and it's basically held on with four bolts and a series of plastic poppers. As you see me pointing out one that's hidden there. The first one I remove is the reflector, that just comes straight out. And that's held in with three retaining clips, there's not one at the bottom. Uh, dead simple, you shouldn't have to force that and it, it reveals the first bolt. There's not one under the uh, door handle, but you do need to remove this to make it a bit easier. And it should come off with your finger. You wouldn't need any tools to mark anything. Here's the pretty much the toughest part to remove. The uh, armrest, or the arm cover there, has got a clip on the left hand side just below my thumb. And basically you need to push that in and then slide the whole unit left. And hopefully that will reveal the last bolt that's underneath. You can see on the plastic uh, trim there, there's a little square kind of raised part. You need to push that in through the material enables you to slide it left. Once you've got those four bolts out, uh, it's really simple. The two obviously you can see are exposed on the left. You literally need to just pry it off gently with a long tool. As you can see here, um, I've just prized off a couple of poppers there and then you'll find that they're all the way around the bottom. In the moment you'll just see where they're all located so you know where to pull if you're struggling. Now you'll see that um, I'm just removing it from the top. And these clips along the top edge uh, where the window is are really firm, but they are very well placed. And to replace the panel after and put it back in position, you just need to tap along there and they'll clip in nice and uh, neatly. They're really well uh, designed. You see here, I'm just pointing out exactly where all those poppers are and nothing broke in the process. You'll see a cable hanging there. That was connected to the panel itself. It was a courtesy floor light when the door opened. Um, super simple to remove. Here's the speaker, there's four normal screws that hold that in place. But when I remove the speaker I notice that everything was wet inside and it turns out the door sill against the window isn't um, completely flush and so because it's full of gunk it's letting water down. So just check that you've got a drain, there are some drain plugs there, just make sure they're clear so the water can go down and I've tried to clean that out and see if that improves the issue really but it wasn't too bad but you certainly wouldn't want a lot of water sitting in the door well. So after the shed I've disconnected the speaker, it's dead simple. Um, and what looks like a perfectly good speaker, um, we weren't happy with. Um, so I've decided I was going to upgrade them with 17 centimetre speakers. Um, 16 is really what you need to put in there. I got greedy. So the best thing to do, I found, was literally to get a Stanley knife and just remove the old speaker, as you can see here. I've um, chosen to put 17 centimetres in there. Um, and it was unnecessary, really. 16 would fit in perfectly. Uh, I had to do a little bit of work, as you're going to see in a moment, if you do find yourself in the same situation. But to be honest, 16 fits in, I can't say there'd be any difference in sound quality and um, after changing the head unit and the speakers the, the difference from stock has been considerable really, it's well worth it for about £150 with the head unit change. Um, you see there I've just snapped out those clips dead easy and normally that would have left you um, free to run and put your 16 centimetres in but I had to um, get a jigsaw with a very thin blade or a dremel or something like that uh, or you could possibly file it out with a rasp and literally run round and open up the um, plastic uh, trim. You'll see now what I'm trying to explain. It wouldn't fit flush or entirely flush, which I wasn't happy with. Um, you could have probably got away with that, but it wouldn't have sealed the speaker to the door. Um, so instead, I just ran around, it took all of a minute uh, to take away that bit of trim. And that was enough then to get that speaker to sit in flush. Um, and I've used some double-sided foam, which for like registration plates and things like that, um, to seal the speaker as well, so it's a, a decent run around the edge. And there's the speaker, four bolts I've put in that I've managed to squeeze in. Um, and that was all I needed to do really. I've put some more foam tape around the outside there. And the last thing to do then was to simply just solder on some new connectors that fit onto this speaker. The stock ones won't work. The whole job was kind of 30 minutes really on each door. Uh, it's well worth it, I'd recommend it if you've got the time. And if you feel confident in doing it, I would say it was one of the easiest jobs on a car I've had to do. There was no problems and nothing broke for once. So uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, just please put them in below.